Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal, the Nootropic Reviewer, and during this video today I'm going to talk about this specific product here. It's called 9-MEBC, very small bottle, small doses, as small as 10 milligrams, and where a lot of people are using this specific product is to reverse potential damage that could have been caused by using ADHD meds. Let's say you've used Adderall for a considerable amount of time, then you got off of the Adderall, what happens? You feel slower, you can't think as clear, you're not motivated. So this can help not just do that, but also help you, let's say, when you're taking time off of caffeine, it should boost motivation specifically by boosting dopamine levels. And not even really boosting dopamine levels, more so it will make sure that your dopaminergic system is working optimally. Because what happens is we take a lot of nootropics that are gonna enhance our focus, gonna boost our dopamine levels, but but perhaps this can be uh, doing something to just refresh that whole system and make you feel as good as you'd like to be. And I will admit, I've not taken it for 30 days. I've only taken it for four to five days, but so far I'm actually gonna give it a thumbs up. And the reason why isn't necessarily because it's that strong, but from all the research, you really can't find any negative side effects. But then at the same time, when you look at the research, there is no research that's been done on humans. Unfortunately, there is a very neat study here, 9-MEBC, in the context of elevated hippocampal dopamine levels and synaptic proliferation. And you look at the study, you can see that after 10 days, uh, it did improve spatial learning and it did elevate dopamine levels in the hippocampal formation. But... The bad news is this study, like many others, was again done on rats. So what do we know? And I'm very surprised that a lot of people haven't asked me about the specific nootropic. It seems pretty similar to bromantane and that there was a lot of hype around bromantane improving dopamine levels. And I can share with you so far from using this supplement that it may actually be a good nootropic to use under a sleep deprived state. The past few days, I really haven't slept optimally to tell you the truth, but um, I fortunately had decent energy levels. My workouts have been okay. And it's interesting in like 9-MEBC, it's not like too stimulatory of a feeling, but it stimulates me enough to make me feel like my baseline self if I had slept like seven hours, whereas I've only been able to sleep like five or so hours. So people call 9-MEBC stimulatory. Maybe 9-MEBC is like slightly more stimulating, but when I say stimulating, I don't mean it's anywhere comparable to something like caffeine or theocrine or dynamine and nowhere even close to taking something like modafinil. We're talking very subtle, uh, probably similar to taking something like paracetam. So this is not your typical nootropic that you would take daily. I see this as a substance that maybe you would take for like 30 days, perhaps to reset your dopamine levels, make yourself feel okay, see how you respond to it. At the end of the day, there's not too much research on this supplement, which does again scare me at the end of the day. Like I do not feel comfortable taking this supplement every day for a year, um, even if I were to take some time cycling off of it. But it's like, sure, maybe if your motivation levels are low, you've tried some nootropics or some nootropic stacks, it really doesn't hurt to give this one a shot to see just how you function along with it. I'm um, looking at the actual bottle, very potent stuff. If you're going to go ahead and get this, you're definitely going to need like a milligram scale so you can properly just weigh it out because we're talking dosages as small as like five to 10 milligrams. So this is what it looks like. I will warn you, it tastes absolutely awful. This is probably one of the worst tasting nootropic supplements out there. And what's, what's going to happen is you leave it under your tongue for about 20 to 30 seconds and you'll probably lose your sense of taste for about an hour, which I know sounds kind of scary. Not only does it taste bad, you lose your sense of taste. That really does happen. Um, there's probably capsules out there, but I'm using this specific form right now, the powder form. My preferred way of taking a nootropic is actually do a lot of the research after I've tried it for 30 days to reduce biases, and that seems to work for me, and I'm very fortunate to be a sensitive person to nootropic supplements, especially now that I have decreased my caffeine intake, I can see myself being more likely to actually um, notice whether or not I should be continuing to take this. And the really exciting thing, if you look on Reddit or you look for anecdotes, there's a lot of positivity about this supplement. It's like, what are those nootropics that I could imagine maybe like, five to 10% of people would really respond to it very well and notice like game changing efforts, like feeling like they found the new NZT48, whereas the rest of the population probably wouldn't feel anything from it or very subtle effects, but them really having no reason to keep it in their stack long-term. But I like the fact that it's low on side effects. I'm not too concerned about them, but a couple of them that you should be aware of are photosensitivity. There could be DNA damage if you're exposed to too much sunlight. And then the other one, which is somewhat common is having a hyperactive level of libido, which I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. There's a lot of people that ask me what supplements can actually help them perform better um, in that context of libido. And that's something interesting about 9-MEBC. There's a lot of people that are actually using this supplement to boost their libido levels, but that's not the case for me. The reason that I'm gonna be using 9-MEBC for this next short while is to reverse any stimulant tolerance that may have developed. So my plan is to take it for the next 30 days. I'm gonna, of course, keep you posted. But what's very neat is the actual dosage protocol because it seems that people are taking different dosages. Again, very small doses. Uh, you can consider a smaller dose to be something like zero to 10 milligrams 
once a day or even once every few days, once a week. Some people take it, but I'm going to be taking it once a day, just that very small dosage. I'm going to be taking a little bit under my tongue right in the morning. I'm going to take it first thing. I'm going to take it in a fasted state. And that works well for me because I practice intermittent fasting and I don't mind ingesting my 9 MEBC first thing in the morning if I don't have my uh, next meal at least for a few hours afterwards. Because like I mentioned, when you ingest 9, 9 MEBC, you'll probably lose your sense of taste, um, especially if you get it in the powder form. Uh, but I would avoid taking it in the late afternoon and evening. It has a fairly long half-life compared to some other supplements out there. And what a medium dose would be considered is something like 10 to 25 milligrams. And anything more than 25 milligrams I see as a pretty high dose. And I don't understand why anybody would want to take that daily for an extended period of time, maybe 30 days if you're trying to go through some sort of cycle to um, really change things for you and give you like a nice paradigm shift. But something which seems neat is that 9-MEBC could be a nice addition to your supplement stack. Like there's a lot of people that are using paracetam and choline, for example, and I see using this supplement to really as well boost your focus, boost your motivation. The same reasons that you would use something like paracetam and choline. And also if you're somebody that maybe enjoys taking lion's mane or some of the adaptogens to help you to relieve your stress levels, I can see this having a really good purpose and it will uh, like maybe offset any demotivation effects that you do get from the adaptogens or lion's vein because something we know about the um, herbal or the herbal class of nootropics is that they can often like boost mood but not be that great when it comes to improving focus and then of course they sometimes leave you in a demotivated state which we don't want and I've seen a lot of people um, compare 9-MEBC to bromantane which would definitely make sense bromantane it seems to be used like almost the exact same way and like you take it once a day and it can sort of like indirectly help with dopamine function boosting dopamine levels uh, bromantane though I've used now for over a month, haven't noticed too much from it, so I don't have too high of expectations with 9-MEBC, but again, it doesn't really hurt to try um, and seems somewhat free of side effects. Really hope you found this information helpful. If you did, consider subscribing, drop a like. Be sure to visit our Discord server where we have a 24-7 chat room. We're answering questions in a time-sensitive fashion, and if you'd like to speak with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so over on Patreon or send me a direct message on Instagram. I thank you for your interest in nootropics, and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.